hello friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to see another tutorial on docker so before i start i would request you to subscribe like the video and share and comment so to start you know i have a docker machine which is running on CentOS. so if you don't know how to set up docker please check my tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see how we can set up a wordpress so we are going to create two docker containers one for mysql docker container and another one for wordpress so we'll go through the step by step process how to create the container and attach you know the mysql database to the wordpress container as well so kindly subscribe like the video and share so to start you know i'm just checking the ip address of the machine which we'll have to use it to access the wordpress site so let's start with the first process to download the images. So if you run the Docker images, I don't have the image for MySQL or the WordPress. So let's do the uh, download for the image first. So let's run the command docker pull and the image name, which is MySQL, and I'm going to give the tag or the version. So I'm going to use 5.7. So you may ask why I did not use the latest so the latest image for MySQL had some challenges in linking with the WordPress. So I'm, go I'm going to use 5.7. So Docker pull MySQL 5.7. So it's downloading the image. So you can go to the Docker hub to see which image is available for MySQL. You can search there and you will be able to get the complete information, uh, which all the latest version and what the tag available for MySQL and how to create Docker container all those information will be available and it's not mandatory that you have to pull the image first before you create in the container so i'm just showing it the first time pulling the image then i'm going to create it or you can do it directly docker run command so it will automatically start pulling the image okay okay great so we are completed the download of the image so if you run the docker image now you will be able to see the mysql tag 5.7 Okay, now let's pull the image for WordPress as well. Okay, so again, as I said, it's not mandatory you have to pull the image first. So, but uh, it's easy for us to pull the image first. Then, you know, if you run the container, it, it will easily create the container. So here for WordPress, I'm using the latest version. So let's wait for the image to be downloaded. Okay, so it may take some time depending upon how much uh, data which it has to download and the internet speed. Okay, and if you know how to set up a LAMP server where Linux, you know, Apache Tomcat, MySQL, and PHP, we are not going in that way of setup here. We are going to use only MySQL as a database and we are going to use WordPress uh, as another container. Okay, so we will see. In depth, how to use a Docker Compose with uh, different uh, uh, configurations in the later videos. So this is a simple way how we can run the uh, WordPress. Okay, we are almost done. Okay, so the image is downloaded. Okay, let's clear out the screen. Okay, now if you run the docker images you can see the mysql and also the wordpress image okay let's clear out the screen and i we have we can run the command to create the docker containers so before that you know just run the docker volume ls so this will list down all the volumes which are available in the docker so now you see you don't see any volumes but when we run the docker container uh, we'll be creating volumes in that okay so i'm going to run the command docker container run or you can just run docker run okay so it doesn't necessary you have to mention docker container okay so and i'm going to use the, the uh, argument hyphen d for the chat mode and i'm going to give a name for the container which is mysql 
So I'm going to create the database first in the container. Then I'll be linking the database container to the WordPress. Okay. And the port is going to be 3306, which is the default port for MySQL. So we are exposing that port yeah, on the host as well as on the uh, container. Okay. So select the argument like restart always. This will help us like if the container is uh, having some issues, it will automatically restart. And I'm going to use some environmental variables like MySQL root password. What this does is like we have a default user admin account for MySQL. So we are setting a password for this. And I'm also using some other environmental variables like MySQL under underscore database. So this will create a database when we create the container. So and the database name will be WordPress. So we are creating a WordPress database when we creating the container itself. Okay. And I'm also creating some other variables as well. And what does this does is like uh, I'm creating a new user in MySQL. So the user name is WordPress user. And also I'm going to set a password for this user. So it's going to be MySQL password. Okay, so what we have done is we have set the password for the root user. We have created a database. We have created a new user, user and we have also set the password. Now let's attach a volume. So I'm going to use uh, default Docker volume. So I'm going to give a name as MySQL underscore data. And I'm going to link that to the Docker location, which is slash var slash lib slash MySQL. And the image is going to be MySQL 5.7. So you have to give the exact uh, 5.7 image. Otherwise, it will again download the image from the Docker Hub. Okay. So now the container is created. If you run the Docker PS, you can see the container running. If you want to know more about how to uh, work with MySQL Docker container, please check my tutorial in the channel. I have explained how you can create databases, how you can add you know, data into the SQL database. Okay. And you can also see now a Docker volume unless there is a volume MySQL underscore data created. Now, in order to access this volume, you need to go to the location and uh, cd slash var slash lib slash docker slash uh, volumes and to, the name of the volume would be mysql underscore data and underscore there should be one more folder called underscore data. Okay, so let's go inside that. So mysql underscore data and, and underscore data. Okay. So now, if you see inside that, you will be able to see the content of your database. So you can see there are configuration files. There is a new database called WordPress. So all those details will be available here. There. Okay, so let's clear out the screen. Now let me create the container for WordPress. So again, I'm going to run docker container run, or we can use, just use docker run hyphen D for detached mode. And the name of the container is WordPress. And if you see, I'm going to use a new argument, which is hyphen hyphen link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link MySQL container to this uh, WordPress container. So this is necessary because WordPress needs some database to be running so I'm going to use the MySQL database uh, to run the WordPress. Okay? And the port is going to be 8080 from the host and uh, from the container it's going to be 80. And if you see I'm using environmental variable WordPress DB host. So I'm going to give the MySQL uh, database name, the container name. It's going to be MySQL and the port is 3306 which we exposed in the previous uh, command. Okay? when we created the MySQL container. And also I'm going to use the WordPress DB name, the WordPress, which we created as part of MySQL container. Okay, and we are going to also use the WordPress user. Okay, so the WordPress underscore DB user, okay, which is going to be again the WordPress user, which we created in the MySQL uh, DB. Okay, and also the password for it.
So if you look the this command also and also the previous DB command, we are using a lot of the parameters which we created in the DB container. Okay, so you have to be very clear what you have given in that uh, database container. Okay, and we are going to attach the volume which is WordPress underscore data. You can give any name there. Okay, and the location will be slash var slash www slash html so this will be the location where we are attaching to the volume okay and i'm going to use the image wordpress latest so the main thing is like you're linking the mysql and also we are giving the host mysql 3306 and uh, we are using the db name db user and db password from the previous uh, mysql container Great, so we have the container created and if you run the docker ps now we can see two containers running one for wordpress and another one for mysql okay and if you check the docker volume ls we can see one more volume created for wordpress underscore data now we can try to access this location again using the location slash var slash lib slash docker slash volume and uh, WordPress underscore data and underscore data. Okay. So if you see, you, we are able to see the complete WordPress information there, like uh, the index.php, wp admin, all those uh, informations are available there. Now let's try to access the WordPress site from the browser. Okay. So for this one, you can run the host IP address with port 8080. Now we are in the first initial setup screen of WordPress. Now you can select the language you want to use and you have to click on continue. Okay, so we are in the next screen where we have to give a name for the WordPress site and you have to give an admin user to log into the WordPress site and you have to set a password. Okay, and you can also give an email address so you give an email address where you can receive the email because if you lose the admin username or password you can retrieve it to that email okay. so i'm just giving some sample password which is very weak so i have to check the box like confirm use the weak password okay but do you give a proper password okay then you, we have to click on install wordpress Okay, great. So we are done with that process. Now we can see the message like it's installed. Click on login and we have to give the username as uh, the admin user which we created in the previous screen. So I'm giving admin and the password which I created is just the password. Okay, And click on login. okay great so we are inside the wordpress and you can see this is the dashboard the initial dashboard of wordpress okay. and if you click on uh, my site this is how it will look actually if somebody is accessing this site in the current state because it's using some default template okay if you go to post and you can go to all post and let's create a new post okay so this is the first uh, post which we are creating. So let's give a title. Okay, let's publish that. So your post will be published. And if you refresh your site, you can see that post is listed. There. The first post, okay. So you can give some entries or data into the first post. So you add those, it will be listed uh, into your website right right so this way you can create you know post you can add uh, pictures you can do a lot of things you can even change the themes if you go to appearance and themes you have some default themes available which you can activate or you can even uh, download some theme uh, from the search and you can install it
now if you want to stop the containers like now we have two containers running right one for wordpress and one for mysql so if you want to stop the containers you can use the command docker stop and the container name or the container id so it will stop the container so if you stop the wordpress site uh, you will not be able to access the site anymore so it will go to page not found so that's all i think with this tutorial so i hope uh, it's informative for you so thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment